In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert a color card using Harmony Advanced, Essentials, and Premium. So we have our scene going here, and we have our bird and our background layers. And if I want to see them moving in the camera view, we would stay in the OpenGL view, which is the view we've been in the entire time in the camera view. I can hit play, and I can see my animation looping. But if I want to see what the animation would look like for the final render, I can go to the next view, the other view in camera view, which is the render view, which is this little blue flower right here. If I click on that, everything outside the camera, the camera view goes away, and I can see uh, what the scene would look like in its final form. And it's a little distracting being able to see through my bird. So I think what I'll actually do is turn off the background layers. But when I do that, everything goes black, because the default background in camera view is black when it's rendered. And since our bird's inks are black, we really can't see anything. And that's where a color card will really help. I can add a color card kind of the same way as I can add a drawing um, layer, which is I can go up here to insert and drop down to color card, or I can go to the plus sign and drop down the color card. I'm going to go ahead and do it from here. And now our color card is in our shot, and I can see the bird again. The default color card color usually is white, and it goes at the very bottom of your timeline view. If I go to my layer properties, which is right here next to library, I get the layer properties for this color card. And I can see that it is indeed a white color. If I double click on the swatch at the bottom, I get a color picker, which is identical to the color picker that we get when we do our palettes and our colors up here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a kind of bluish purple color. And I can also, if I wanted to, change the opacity, or the alpha, and make it partially transparent. But I think I'll just keep it as a full transparent at the uh, completely opaque. So I can go out of that. And I can also change the colors and the alpha without going into the color swatch by changing these values right here. If I go back into OpenGL view, we'll see that I have these little white squares. That's because I have color cards selected. If I were to click off a color card and back into the bird, they would disappear. So this is just the color card's way of telling you that it's the active layer. And if I zoom out, I can see that this color card is gigantic. It's meant to take care of all your animation, even if your camera were to move. So if we zoom out all the way, we can see this color card is absolutely massive, and there's very little chance of us actually drawing off of the color card. And we go back in render view, and now we can see all of our animation. And a little note about render view. Like the drawing view, it cannot animate. So if I hit play, nothing will actually happen. If I want to see my animation moving, I have to go back to the OpenGL view and hit play there. And that's how we use a color card.